So this week has all been about the planet burning. This has been the great uh, message that is zooming around your Earth at this time, and we will have to tell you, this is not a new problem. The Amazon has been getting burned and clear cut for many, many years. And just as um, one single death does not seem to get anyone's attention, but a plane load of people going down does seem to get people's attention, uh, the individual slash and burn culture of the, of the uh, people in the Brazilian rainforest to clear the forest for uh, farming practices, um, when it's done on an individual basis, you don't really notice it. But uh, as it is happening uh, in a big scale here for political reasons, these, are, these fires are not uh, about global warming per se. They are about political power and money. And yet it has all got you uh, in a tizzy. So we want you to understand that your job as A Course in Miracle students is to witness your belief in the world. Now, this is a very, very difficult time for many of you because just as you are learning to cultivate some equanimity regarding your earthly experience, your earthly experience is becoming a lot more dramatic. And of course, we have told you that this is going to happen. We've told you that the system is going to begin to fracture, that you are going to be seeing big changes, that you are going to be seeing things that seem to be really bad. And of course, this is another one of those things. If you are very concerned about the state of your planet, you must go inside and ask yourself, what can I do locally to improve my contribution to the planet. What's happening for many of you in your urban environments, on your social media systems, is that the idea of action has really fallen away. And of course, there are pure non-dualistic teachers that say no action is required, but no action is actually required. But for many of you, you will be drawn to act because there is this revolution happening on your planet, and it is not going to come from those of you sitting in your armchairs making Facebook posts. The millions of you that are dissatisfied with the system need to get up off your bottoms and form groups that are actively expressing what you desire. So if you are posting pictures of the forests on fire saying global warming, what a terrible thing, but you are not growing your own food, we suggest you begin to grow your own food. If you are posting pictures of the forest burning and you are uh, burning a lot of fossil fuels, uh, driving around all the time, entertaining yourselves in your cars, we would suggest that you perhaps consider buying an electric car. We really want you to look at the real issue here, which is the projection of guilt. The projection of guilt is how the ego functions. And if you are upset, if you are accusing, if you are frightened, you are in your ego and you are projecting. That means you are saying, I am innocent and the other people in the world are guilty or the governments are guilty. Now, this is not to say that there is no evidence to support that belief. But that is how separation is maintained. It is maintained by the fact that the ego can always find a justification to make someone guilty or to attack somebody. This is going to be the hardest thing for all of you who are Course in Miracles students. We, don't, we do not want you to attack. We do not want you to sit in judgment. We would like you to act in accord with healthy practices as it relates to the environment yourself. So if you are living in a highly urbanized environment, there are lots of things that are not happening in your life that would be helpful to the planet, planting lots of plants, for example. But you can begin to make your mark by stepping back from judging others and saying, how am I acting in my world, in my society, in my own realms, as it relates to environmental care. 
And that is what we would like you to do as a response to these fires. You can't go off flying off to Brazil and become a firefighter. That's not possible. You are also not able to overthrow governments on an individual basis, but as a collective, all of you getting together, all of you organizing yourselves, and there are demonstrations being um, conducted at this time to let the Brazilian government know that everybody's upset about this. But on a collective level, it is all of your individual decisions and all of your individual mind training that is going to shift this disaster around. But it got your attention. It got everybody fired up. And it is this kind of disaster that will get the complacent motivated. And so we do not see this as a bad thing. Yes, the destruction of the natural habitat is awful. The animals losing their lives, the people losing their indigenous homelands is terrible. And that is the nature of the ego's playground. Do not ever forget this. Do not ever forget that this place is the ego's playground. It is where greed and fear and death play out their parts, reflective of those aspects of the minds of beings on this plane. So once again, do not look at the end result and think that changing that is the solution, although it would be a very nice solution indeed. It must be the interior work of the collective mind, the collective brotherhood, all of the sons of God, all of the daughters of God, working together to produce a happy, healthy planet. Where are you not happy? Where are you not healthy? Where are you not living up to your potential as a member of the human race? Focus on your practice. Focus on making yourself a more conscientious, healthy, strong contributor to society. And you will be doing a great part to heal the fractured mind of the collective consciousness of this planet on which you find yourselves. So we will leave it there for now. Keep that ball in your court, stay in your own lane. And ask yourself, what, am I, what have I not contributed to this situation? We will return shortly.